what, what was super interesting for us on the multiplayer of Assassin's Creed is that we took the engine and we took the game of the single player and tried to make it a multiplayer game. And that's exactly not what you should do. You should start from multiplayer and then go in single player because, in fact, the multiplayer has way more constraints than the single player. So I will take some examples uh, in Assassin's Creed, for example. You, 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 in, in Assassin's Creed 2 or Brotherhood, you can't climb uh, on all walls uh, because some are not designed like that. And that's fine. If you, if you are purchased by, by guards and you can't climb a, a wall, that's fine. You will fight them and, and you will get away with it and, and, and you, you will be perfectly fine. You do exactly the same thing uh, level design-wise on a multiplayer game, you're dead. And you're not dead because of you, you're dead because the latest level design has not thought about doing a, a wall that you could climb there even if it looks like it. Or even if the one mirror next to it, you can, cl you can climb it. So that's why I mean by being more, uh, way more, uh, you have to be way more fair and way more uh, uh, exigent. I, I don't know if I can say exigent in English, but, but way more, uh, uh, yeah, for in a way. So, so that's that's where it's really different. So you 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 can't. You will always blame the game when you fail, and that's fine. But you shouldn't be right. So if it's really the um, because of the game that you failed, then your game is broken and nobody will play it.